Hello students, welcome back to all. So in our last class we discussed about ionization energy, right? So in this session we are going to discuss about some questions based on quantum numbers. So uh, especially these questions are very useful for JE exam as well as NEET exam also. So get ready for that. And I will provide all the questions in the description. Please check it and let us see. What is the first question? So the first question is Beryllium's fourth electron will have the four quantum numbers. So let us see what are the quantum numbers. So here options are given. This is the multiple choice question. So option A, n value is 1, n means principal quantum number, l value is 0 and m value is 0, s m s value is plus half. So option B, n value is 1, l value is 1, m value is plus 1 and m s value is plus half. And third option is n value is 2, l value is 0, m value is 0 and m s value is minus half. And option D, n value is 2, l value is 1, m value is 0 and s value, m s value is plus half. So see in this question, four options are given. Uh, n value means principal quantum number value. L means azimuthal quantum number and M means the magnetic quantum number and MS means spin quantum number. Here we are required, the question is the fourth electrons, the four quantum numbers we require. So generally beryllium means its atomic number is 4, right? So configuration is 1s2, 2s2. So here the last electron is 2s2. We required the four values for this electron. So here n is 2 clearly given. So what is L value? For s orbital L value is obviously 0. See if L value is 0, m value is obviously 0 because L value, m value is always depend upon L value, right? So m value is equals to 12 plus 1. So that implies 2 into 0 plus 1 which means 1. But here the value of m is 0. Here 1 means the value is containing only one value, the magnetic quantum number containing one value and that value is 0. So don't confuse in this case. So and what about the ms value, spin quantum number? So 2s2 means there are two electrons, 2s2 orbital. So this is the first electron and second electron and that second electron must be containing minus, minus of spin value. So obviously here option uh, I think option C is the correct answer say n value 2 l value 0 m 0 and m s value is minus half so option C is the correct answer okay don't get confused so let us see the second question the second question is that electronic configuration of H minus ion is dash. So here options are given. Option A is 1s0 and option B is 1s1. Option C is 1s2 and option D is 1s1, 2s1. So here see H minus means hydrogen. Hydrogen atomic number is 1. Its configuration is 1s1. But H minus ion means this is an ion, right? which means it is containing one more extra electron. So obviously 1s2 is the correct answer because H minus means it is containing one more extra electron. So that is why here option C is the correct answer. Okay. So next question. Let us see the third question. So third question is that 
what are the four quantum number values for the last electron of chlorine atom so here chlorine atoms last electronic four quantum numbers values we are requiring so options are given option a n value is 3 l value is 1 m value is 0 and ms value is minus half so option b n value is 3 l value 2 m value 0 and ms value is plus half so option 3 n value is 3 l value is 2 m value is 0 and ms value is minus half so option d is n value is 3 l value is 1 m value is 0 and ms value is plus half so now let us see what are the four values so here we are requiring the chlorine atom uh, chlorine atoms configuration is I think 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 so 3s2, 3p5 so 3p5 is the last electron so this is p orbital 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so this is the last electron we required this last electron for quantum number values right so in this 3p5 obviously n value is 3 and L value is 1 for P orbital because L value is 0 for S orbital and 1 for P orbital. So, L value is 1. And what is M value? So, M value is 2L plus 1. So, that implies 3. Which means M is containing 3 values. And what are the 3 values here? So, the 3 values is minus 1, 0, plus 1. So, this is minus 1. 0 plus 1 because here m means the magnetic quantum number is containing values which are extended from minus l 0 to plus l right and this quantum number is depend upon always the azimuthal quantum number right so here there are three values that three values must be minus 1 0 plus 1 so now uh, what is the 3p5 orbitals m value that is 0 so n n is 3 l is 1 and m is 0 and what about s value here so here the last electron 3p5 is the last electron so the uh, the spin of this electron must be minus half because this electron containing plus half and this is the minus half right so here the option is i think um, option A is the correct answer because n value 3, l value 1, m value 0 and ms value is minus half. So, this is the correct answer. Like this, we have to find out the four quantum number values for any electron also. Okay. So, especially in our competitive exams, this type of questions are asked in many times. So, now let us see the fourth question. So, uh, fourth question is the magnetic quantum number of valence electron of sodium is dash so here options are given option a is 3 option b is 2 option c is 1 and option d is 0 so let us find out the magnetic quantum number value we are requiring m value for uh, last electron of sodium atom so generally sodium is containing 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s1 configuration so 3s1 is the last electron right so uh, for 3s1 uh, n value is 3 and L value is 0 and M value is also 0 because L value is 0 for S orbital if L value is 0 and M value is also 0 so here option D is the correct answer right now let us see fifth question so 
So the fifth question is that here the four quantum number values are given. The values of four quantum numbers. are given below. So n value is 4, l value is 3 and m value is 0, ms value is minus half here. So then the question is in which of then in which orbital the last electron enters and what is that electron so this is the question here options are given option a 4f4 option b 4f11 option c 4d8 and option d is 4d4 so be careful don't get confused here. So question is here the four quantum number values are given. Now we have to find out what is that valency electron and in which orbital will be the electron enters. Okay. So n is 4 n value is 4. L value is 3. If L value is 3 that orbital must be f orbital. Is it right? Because L value is 0 for s orbital and 1 for p. 2 for d and 3 for obviously f orbital right so that is where the orbital is 4f orbital and we have to find out uh, what is that electron so m value is 0 here see if m value is 0 how can we find out what is that electron so here see 4f orbital means it is containing 14 electrons right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so if l value is 3 means m value is obviously 7 because 2 into 3 plus 1 so 7 which means the magnetic quantum number containing seven values and what are those seven values those seven values are extended from minus 3 to plus 3 which means minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 and plus 3 so these are the seven values so here i am writing the seven values minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 and plus 3 is it clear so here 4f orbital is confirmed here the m value is given 0 this is the 0 which means what is that electron 1 2 3 4 maybe the electron is the fourth electron or 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 or 11th electron is it clear which means that electron we have to find out that electron may be the fourth electron or 11th electron because the m value is given here 0 so what is that electron we have to find out basing on the ms value because the magnetic uh, the spin quantum number value is minus half so obviously here in this case the fourth electron containing plus half and the 11th electron containing minus half so obviously the answer is 4f11 so 4f11 means option b is the correct answer is it clear so like this we have to find out in which orbital the last electron will enter okay so 4f11 is the correct answer now let us see the next question so the fifth sixth question so here the four quantum numbers for the valence shell electron of sodium 
is dash so option uh, this is also one of the important questions so options are given n values to l1 m is equals to minus 1 and ms value is minus half so option b n value is 3 l value 0 and m value is 0 and ms value is plus half and option c n value is 3 L value is 0 and M value is minus 2 and MS value is minus half. And option D, N value is 3, L value is 2, M value is 2 and MS value is plus half. Now we have to find out what are the 4 values, 4 quantum number values for last electron of sodium atom. So sodium, already we discussed this question, right? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. So the configuration is this one. So we have to find out the four quantum numbers of the last electron that is 3s1 electron. So in this case n value is 3 because here 3s1. So l value is 0 because for s orbital l value is 0. And m value is also 0 because uh, if l value is 0 then m must be 0. Then ms value is minus half because in 3s1 orbital only one electron will present sorry plus half here because uh, the first electron that is why that uh, spin of that electron must be um, plus half so i think in this case uh, option b is the correct answer okay is it clear now let us see ne the next question so the seventh question is that the electronic configuration of Ca plus 2 is dash. So calcium ion. See your options are given. Option A. So 1s to 2s to 2p6. 3s to 3p6. 4s to. Option B. 1s to 2s to 2p6. 3s to 3p6. 4s1. Option C. 1s to 2s to 2p6, 3s to 3p6, 3d2 and option D, 1s to 2s to 2p6, 3s to 3p6 and 3d5 and option E is also there, 1s to 2s to 2p6, so 3s to 3p6 and 4s0. So now we have to find out what is the uh, correct configuration for Ca plus 2 ion. See calcium ions of calcium atomic number is 20. Uh, so its configuration is uh, 1s to 2s to 2p6, 3s to 3p6 and 4s2 right because uh, config uh, configuration is argon 4s2. So 6 uh, 10 electrons 12 18 and 20 electrons so this is the correct configuration but here calcium plus 2 means this is cation right cation means it is losing two uh, two electrons plus 2 means two electrons so the configuration must be the last option because 1s to 2s to 2p6 3s to 3p6 and 3 4s0 because it is losing the two electrons from the 4s orbital so in this case option e is the correct answer next question eighth question so here the shape of the dxy orbital is dash so options are given option a circular option b dumbbell option c double dumbbell and option d four four dumbbell so in this way the d orbital containing double dumbbell shape 
because s orbital is spherical in shape and p orbital is dumbbell in shape d orbital is double dumbbell in shape so here dxy means it is one of the d orbital so option c is the correct answer in this case so next question ninth question so uh, the energy of an electron of 2py orbital is options are given so option a so greater than that of Two px orbital. Option B. Less than that of two px orbital. So option C equal to that of two s orbital. And option D is. same as that of so 2pz orbital see in this case so the energy of 2py orbital is equal to that of 2px orbital and 2pyz orbital also because here the 2px 2py 2pz the three orbitals are called degenerate orbitals which means they are having the equal energy so option d is the correct answer which means all the orbitals having equal energy these orbitals are called degenerate orbitals so here option d is the correct answer so now the last question for this session that is 10th question that is which one pair of atoms or ions will have the same configuration so options option a fluorine plus and neon so option b lithium plus and helium minus option c chlorine minus and argon and option d is sodium and potassium so now what is the correct answer how can we find so in this case fluorine minus ion means it is containing 8 electrons so sodium atom neon means it is containing 10 electrons so this is wrong so lithium plus so 2 electrons lithium plus means losing one electron so helium minus means containing 3 electrons so this is the wrong so chlorine minus means it is containing 18 electron because chlorine is gaining one electron here and argon's electronic configuration also must be 18 electrons it is containing so i think option c is the correct answer see sodium containing 11 electrons and potassium containing 20 electrons so this is the wrong answer so here option c is the correct answer right so this is the this is our session so especially these questions may be asked in your board exams and as well as competitive exams also very useful and i will provide uh, few more questions regarding this topic and also the other topics so please like share and subscribe my channel and thank you all